Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Evolution S. In today's video, I'm probably going to be starting a new series. It's going to be about fountain pens. One of my most prized possessions, or one of them at least, is my fountain pen. So yeah, this is the first episode. In this episode, I will be telling you guys about what to look for if you're going to buy a fountain pen, and what are the different styles, and what you can pick from for your fountain pen to fit for you. All fountain pens are different. This can go from how they write, what color ink, um, how big or small the pen is, or even the make. The make of the pen usually decides what material materials they use, uh, how good it is. Some companies are more known for their cartridge inks and maybe their piston, so that means they'd be selling inkwells. Inkwell is basically a bottle full of ink. It's like an inkwell. I think it's kind of in the name, but just to let you know. So, to pick your fountain pen, you're gonna wanna know what you're gonna be writing on. So if you're gonna be writing on decent paper, AKA thick paper, you can probably invest in a thicker or I'd say medium pen. So that means at the tip, I'll show you, this is like the demonstration pen right now. At the tip right here, if you could see that. This, it'll have like a little letter on it, M, F, um, E, F, so it'd be like, I forget what large is, but we'll just call it large for this video. Large, medium, fine, and extra fine. For me, I have a fine because since I'm in school, I probably won't be writing on the best paper. So writing with a fine will allow it to still flow nice, but not bleed through the paper as much. It's kind of self-explaining, but like if you see it, the wider the nib, the more ink that will flow out usually. I go fine because fine is fine. And usually for beginners, I'd recommend fine because it still writes smooth, but you don't need to write fast because the ink doesn't flow as fast. And you don't need to invest in decent paper. You can just use common white paper and you'll be fine. So the next thing is what I said was the brand. I talked about ink capsules and all that. For me, I have this pen is a cartridge. So you just like plop it in, it'll like click in. And then yeah, it's ready to go. For pistons, you basically dip the cart cartridge in, twist the top so then it like sucks up the ink. And yeah. Each company, as I said before, this is about the body now, each company has like their kind of signature thing. For maybe Mont Blanc, they have like the little thing at the top, or for Schaefer, they have a little bit thing here. This is a different one. This is called a Lamy. It's one of my pens that I use all the time. It's a little bit more inexpensive, but it's really nice because for beginners, it has this kind of like grids here, and you just stick your finger like this, and it gives you the perfect like writing technique and it like works really well you also have an ink window that's another thing for the body some pens and some pens don't have ink windows for me i have one and you can kind of see if you're bored you can, like, go like this and see the ink go back and forth it's kind of cool but um so some pens are like for mont blanc they have like classique which is like medium size and then they have like El Grando or something, I don't know what that's called, but it's like a bigger pen. For me, since I have small, tiny hands, I like using a moderately thinner pen, but it's still thicker than your average pen. So, oh, that pen's lost forever. Um, but I would never throw this. But this is a little bit thicker and I like the feel. Also for the body, there's different materials. This is like more of a I kind of want to say acrylic. I don't really know about plastics and all that, but it feels like the nails you get, not that I get, but like that girls get, it feels like that. Um, some pe some pens are made out of precious metals, AKA a really nice platinum one. Some have uh, gold on it, silver, like some get really crazy. Some are all platinum or all gold or all silver. They're really nice. But for beginners, I would recommend a more inexpensive Acrylic, don't know if it's actually acrylic pen, okay? So, yeah. Another thing for the body is that how it clicks out. So you can either have it click out, like this, like a normal lid, like that. Or some fountain pens, you have to twist, 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 and then it comes off. 
for me since I'm always using it in, in school, right? I'm always using it, so popping it off is a lot easier than twisting. Twisting is more like formal, I presume. Also for the cap, this is another thing. If it can post like this, that means the cap can stay on while you're writing. Some caps may like stick up at the top and make it really long, or some that it actually might scratch it up, so you don't want to post it, so you have to hold the cap. For me, I don't post often, so posting is not really a big deal. Also, the color, I know. It's kind of shallow, but the color of the pen is also somewhat important because if you get a black pen, if you're looking through your bag, it might be hard to see. So that's why I got a white pen because since I'm always shuffling through my school bag, I always have to look inside and quickly grab a pen. And having a white pen is like, oh dang, there's my pen. Grabs it, starts using it, okay? Also another thing that's a little bit more shallow but really useful is the ink. Okay, so it's not really part of the pen. Whenever you buy a pen, the person will probably be like, oh, what color ink do you want? What color ink do you want? Usually they're pretty knowledgeable about ink. I have like a really, really light orange. Let me just show you what it looks like. I don't want to show you any of my ideas. Like, that's what it looks like, if you can see it. <sighs> it's a little bit lighter, but for me, it depends on the color and the material that they use to make the ink. So for inks, I would say go for higher quality. I know it might be a little bit more expensive, but usually the materials are different because each color has obviously different resources they use to make it and change it to that color. So for example, Mont Blanc, very good ink. I've used a little bit of theirs and it's usually really flowing and really smooth. Some more inexpensive inks are a little bit more dry, I would just, not dry, but they sometimes dry faster or maybe they start to clog up your pen or sometimes they flow way too fast, right? So it completely depends on the ink and what the type of person you are. For me, I like something that flows really fairly fast, but not too fast where it's like, like leaving bulges of ink everywhere or too slow where I could actually feel the pen scratching. That's another thing. With your tip, if you get an extra fine, you'll hear it scratch and you'll feel it scratch. So for me, I don't like it because I don't get the full experience. That's why I go with a fine because it flows nice and easy. But yeah, color is a real big thing because the material and to see it and if it bleeds through. Bleeding through is a really big issue with fountain pens because the ink just will go right through. If it's a dark color and you're using like maybe a medium tip, it's gonna go right through the paper if it's bad paper. Bad paper would be like your normal school paper or your line paper. That stuff is not thick enough to sustain ink. Like, it's just not thick enough. So I go medium and maybe a lighter color or an ink that doesn't flow as fast. And that is really good for y'all because y'all are beginners and I can kind of tell, maybe not, never know, never know. Maybe y'all are a little bit of a connoisseurs about it so if you are a connoisseur and watching please leave a like and I'd love to see what I can improve because it's not that I'm new to the fountain pens but I really love them and I'd love to hear from you guys and if you're a beginner also leave a like and comment what you learned this video if you boys and girls have enjoyed leave a like I know I'm young talking about this jazz but I am knowledgeable and if so yeah I, I don't I don't know what I was going with there but uh